Oh, I got like a horn today. See? Got a little, got a little, got a little uh, crimson horn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn this back around. Hey. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Oh, dude, that thing like fits in there almost perfect. You like that? Yeah. Bigger question is, do you like it? You like it? I love it. Let's take the mask off, bro. People gotta see you. If you like it? I love it. Wait, say that again. This will go on. <laughs> this, this will go on your Tinder profile. Say it again. If you like it? I love it. Man, we're just oozing with sex appeal over here. <laughs> Team Aquas <Office> game. <laughs> Fabric, sand, everything we need to build an unbelievable fountainscape, huh? What's up, Micho? What's up, Brian? Good morning. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, sir. How about yourself? Good. So we're out here way down south in Minutka, and everybody notices right away his AstroTurf lawn. I'm kidding. This is actual real grass. It's about as perfect as I've ever seen. That's the space we're going to build an unbelievable fountainscape. Unbelievable! <laughs> it is going to look awesome. We've got a trio of spheres, three different sizes, 20 large aqua blocks, so a nice big reservoir for it. We're going to do some boulder style waterfalls in here, kind of framing everything out. It's just going to be a really, really cool fountainscape. We've been doing a lot of this stuff this year. Yeah, I think what I love about a customer like Bernie is that he's trusting, he's taking that giant leap of faith, knows that we can create something and we didn't have to do a drawing, we didn't have to really tell him what, he just trusts in the fact that we'll take those three spheres and do something really cool with yeah. them. Which is nice. Yeah. It means that our reputation precedes us. And it's such an organic process, like we don't really know exactly what we're going to do yet, we just know that this is the space we get to do something. So we've got about, looks like 10 feet from the edge of the front patio there, or front porch, to about here and maybe 15 feet, maybe a little bit more in width. And the reason we went with 20 aqua blocks is because we want to leave at least one of those spheres winter running, which will look awesome with the ice castle formation. So it'd be fun to come back out here in January and see that running. This is only project one of two. Yeah, I think what's really cool is we've got two. Oh, I got like a horn today. See? Got, a little, got, a little, got a little uh crimson horn. <laughs> Let's turn this back around. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a front yard feature. There's also a great one going in the back and we'll show you that in a second. But the goal is to get reservoir and spheres kind of set today. Stone shows up tomorrow. Tomorrow. So the idea is you can see all the duct tape and it's funny because you could tell how particular he is. Yeah. Every <laughs> single brick is numbered. But we're going to rip apart this retaining wall, probably a good 8-10 feet of it so that we can build and carve everything back in. But the goal is to get the reservoir in, get the spheres kind of set up like you said so that then tomorrow when the rock shows up we can have a couple guys farting around with this while the rest of us get the, the other project going. Nice. Back. Really trying to stay productive. So we got a week. We do. A week to get two projects done. Awesome. And you know we're building something cool for somebody cool when we're greeted with stuff like this. Bananas, donuts, refrigerator full of Gatorade. Awesome customer. So the gentlemen are starting to dig what is going to be the pond back here. We have the biofalls set, the plumbing has been ran. We will end up putting the skimmer right in this hole over here, but you can kind of see this orange line that's all pond. This is all gonna get dug down to an 18 inch depth over here, which will really help with our formal wall that's going to be inside the pond and underneath the patio over here, as well as establish the depth down here in the kiddie pool end is what we're calling it, with the interactive bowls and that kind of stuff with the slate bottom. And then this area where Matt is moving the wheelbarrow will end up being 30 inches deep. So a real kind of fish feeding area in through there. So the guys are working on digging the pond, throwing the dirt back up behind the biofalls to create that berm and that natural planting space. While they're working on that, Micho and Matt J are out here and I'm kind of helping them get started the fountainscape project that we started yesterday out here. So I'm gonna bring the camera back and let's see kind of where we're at. Oh, nice. 
Oh, dude, that thing like fits in there almost perfect. You like that? Yeah. Bigger question is, do you like it? You like it? I love it. You gotta take the mask off, bro. People gotta see you. If you like it, I love it. Like, say that again. This will go on. <laughs> this, this will go on your Tinder profile. Say it again. If you like it, I love it. Man. We're just oozing with sex appeal over here. <laughs> Team Aquas game. <laughs> All right, so that's the biggest rock, hopefully, on the project. I don't know. We've got a heck of a pile over here that we still have to sift through. But nice work, you guys. What that big rock is doing back there, one, is it's helping scale down that large sphere right there. But it also gives us a termination point to terminate that brick wall and really carve it in to give it that custom feel. This boulder right there is going to act as a frame rock for a waterfall that's going to be fed by an upper pool from that medium sphere. It actually might frame out maybe two waterfalls because that small sphere is gonna end up coming back over here. So maybe it'll frame out the pooling area for this that sphere as well. And then kind of dump in right in this area and through here. So really pleased with the progress that we're making. I love it. This is going to be so cool. A very, very unique way to add curb appeal to the front entry of a home, which is already oozing with curb appeal. I mean, I can't tell you the last time I've seen such a nice front yard and front entry on a house, but we are only looking to improve it and uh, we're ready to get rolling. I think Matt and Micho have a good handle on what's going on up here. I may just get to go home today because they don't need me. But we'll see. I don't know if I can do that when there's donuts and coffee and Gatorades and all kinds of good stuff from the homeowner out here. pond is now totally excavated. We put some, you see the empty wheelbarrows of sand or the wheelbarrows with sand in them. We did end up doing a bedding layer of sand just down on the bottom for a little extra protection. We got into kind of some more gravelly type clay. So we just want to give ourselves some cheap insurance and we had some sand left over from the front. You can see Matt and Daniel are finishing up, just kind of working all the folds out in the fabric, getting it nice and level. The boys and I are going to bring that roll of liner, which is a 25 by 50 into the pond and then spread it out. And then we are going to start rocking the back half and waterfall area while a couple guys start working on the brick wall and step down area in this 18 inch section and then that 30 inch deep section over on the other side by the black and red wheelbarrow which is that fish feeding area and remember folks the patio is going to come up out over the top of those walls. a lot of detail stuff that needs to get done just to make everything pristine and perfect. We've got to wrap up plumbing up the bowls and finishing out this side of the pond. You can see Micho, Matt, and Juan over there. They're gonna tack the waterfalls and get some of those retaining stones in over there. That's happening. We're gonna do some flagstone down here on the bottom over here. And Daniel is working with Corey and Ryan and getting this area prepped for the patio to come out over the top, that formal brick wall that we have inside the pond. We've got a lot of stuff happening today. part of the team is back here. Corey, what do we got cooking? We are moving all the plywood out of here, getting this big piece of fabric out, cleaning the patio up. We're gonna leave some fabric and some plywood because we're getting another big rock in. But for the time being, we're getting everything cleaned up as much as we can. And we're putting all these fittings away, all this little stuff away too. So, so that's the gist of it. Just final cleanup, right? So yeah. that we can get this thing rinsed and rocking and rolling today, huh? That's Before right. we get out of here. Nice. And you can hear the sound of the waterfalls. There's a huge granite boulder that was saw cut on the bottom of the top that's about 18 to 20 inches tall. It's gonna be a coffee table for a double chase lounge to sit right next to it. There's an awning that comes up over the top of that kitchen window. Let me just show you what the view from this area is like. Get down to the chase lounge view and bada bow! Bada bow! Oh my goodness. Does that not look slick or what? There's a little 
look like he's peeing. There it is. Bleh. We've got three bowls out here. We've got a 6,000 biofalls. We've got two pumps. We've got a five to 9,000 SLD solids handling pump running the waterfalls. And then we have a two to 4,000 aqua surge powering these three spillway bowls. You can see the customer's already added his own little fun, unique elements with the copper egrets. You can see the formal edge of the brick patio coming over the top of that wall that we built inside the pond. The waterfalls that Micho and Matt built just looks phenomenal. I love the little split up at the top of the waterfall to that huge voluptuous middle waterfall that then spreads out to that bottom fall that kicked over to the right. I love the little dog leg that they pulled from that fall over to there and then down and then there's a little rock outside of water that's giving it that extra white water as it enters into the pond. Just really really did a great job. Pay close attention to the detail. That is not an easy waterfall to build guys gals and in-betweens out there. It's very compact, it's very tall. You can see that they had to do a lot of retaining wall work to hold back that berm to make it look to scale. But I love the shape of the pond. I love this kind of this flowing curve down and through here. And then we've got the bowls, which will be such a cool piece for the grandchildren to play with along with that one. They just kind of an architectural yet whimsical nature to the pond. But check this step out that's in here. So this step is about four inches underwater and then that leads you down to a slate bottom that'll be so comfortable to walk around on in your bare feet. You could just be out here for hours with your feet soaking and you get those little pruny toes and you don't have to worry about cutting your feet on any sharp rock or anything down there. They're just a nice clean look. There's a fish cave located underneath this piece of slate here which turned out awesome. And then we've got of course the fish feeding area which goes down 30 inches straight down into the pond. There is a brick wall underneath there. You can see where the water level is on those bricks. And we do have some some lights cut in down below. As you can see right there, half in water, half out. So they will illuminate that top surface and get those wavy marks from the surface, the agitation on the surface water, breaking up the beams of light and just casting it up into the stratosphere. But more importantly, in the, the living room over here, on the side of the house, into the canopy of the red maple and this pin oak over here, just such a neat pond that really, really, really fits this space. We've got the skimmer box over here. We've got all of the the controls for all of the components over here. We've got the dosing system, the ion gen, we've got both receivers for our pumps. We've got a 150 watt transformer, three of which, which are the two pumps and the color changing lights can all be controlled through that Aquascape app. So if you guys are unfamiliar with that, head over and check out that video and watch Dave Kelly and James Crowley give an awesome, inspirational tutorial on how to use the app. And I love how the backyard water feature turned out. It just turned out awesome. I love it. I, there's not a single thing that I would do differently. Just really, really love how even the flowing curves of the patio really tie in to the curvilinear nature of the rest of his yard. So you can see how pristine and perfect this place is. It just looks beautiful, very, very much to scale and in theme with his overall landscape design. So really, really pleased with how it turned out. Now that you've seen this, what do you think we should do? Should we go out to the front and you guys see that one? Okay then, let's do that. So let's take a walk. Now that you've seen the back, Let's take a walk to the front yard and see if Micho and Juan, there's a backpack blower, so that's a good sign. And Juan over there, oh yeah, baby. There it is. And that is the front that you saw bits and pieces of earlier. has a four to 7,000 gallon per hour solids handling pump that is located in a pump vault right there. And then we have a valve box right underneath here. Let me just show you the undoing some of this beautiful rock work, disguising it. But down underneath there, we've got a valve box holding our manifold. That way the guys don't get mad that I'm making them do double work, but this thing is awesome. There's a total of nine lights. Yes, nine lights on this water feature. We cut in a light into the top of each sphere. So we got one, two, three, 
We also put one inside the bowl. We put one at the bottom of the waterfalls. We put one down in there. We put one over there lighting up on the water or on the sphere. We put one down in there lighting up on the sphere. We put one right in there lighting up on the sphere. So if you count them all, I believe that's nine. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section below. But we got a boatload of lights out here and it is going to look like an aquascape Bellagio water feature. The plumbing was relatively easy, probably about three and a half to four tons of rock and gravel on this, maybe a little bit more. I would say maybe about four tons on this project and then about another 12 or so on the back. So it just turned out incredible. I just love these stack slate elements and the patio ponds. They just are so unique looking and they add a whole new dimension to water features and I love them. Just the ornate looking, I just love it. I'm, I'm speechless actually. I'm gonna show you this kind of view that I know Bernie, again, the customer, has been getting such a cool i mean can you say curb appeal i mean all the freaking people driving up and down the street they might get in fender benders so he may we may get in trouble uh, for putting this thing out in the front yard because people are going to stop and stare and they may have to put a stoplight in another one in to make two in this one stoplight town but that was a joke for all you people out there from anuka no offense Mitchell's laughing underneath his mask he thinks it was funny anywho this just screams curb appeal in the backyard just screams leave me the heck alone I want to hang out and enjoy my water feature. I think we nailed it. Hopefully you guys did too. It was a fun four and a half days out here with the gang and I couldn't be more proud of them. They did a fantastic job. Like I said, huge shout out to Micho and Matt for building that killer waterfalls in back. Also the other Matt and Micho as well helped, were a huge help out here in front, but also Corey, Ryan, Juan, Daniel, everybody did a great job on this job. Big shout outs to them. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the Team Aquascape content coming out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time here in the U.S. of A. Till next time, peace!